A major story out of South Miami Day. Tonight, there are contamination concerns about the waters of Biscayne Bay. A new report finding the Turkey Point nuclear uh, plant is leaking. Local well, 10 News reporter Leanne Morajon is live now in the neighborhood where families are shocked by all this. Leanne. Well, we are just outside of the power plant. You can see it way in the distance past those trees. This report revealed today at the city commission meeting really shocking findings showing that the water in these cooling plants is actually seeping out into Biscayne Bay, revealed all in a study released today. Within the pages of this University of Miami study is a disappointing conclusion. Water from the cooling canal system at Turkey Point is migrating outside of their cooling canal system boundaries off the property and impacting groundwater. Seemingly caused by the same fix that cooled Turkey Point's canals two hot, dry summers ago and rid its algae blooms and pollution. They've been pumping uh, sources of fresh water into it to try and improve the water quality, but we still have the contamination in the ground. What it seems like it did was to flush all the pollution that's in the cooling canals out. The study released by Miami Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez was the subject of discussion at today's commission meeting. We can't have that. We need our water, we need the protection of our environments, and we need the electricity. It's time for action now. Environmental activists want to see fixes such as downrating the plant and incorporating more solar energy as part of long-term solutions to rely less on the nuclear reactors. I hope that in short order we see real action take place. What we want is a long-term solution to these cooling canals. FPL says the public and its drinking water are safe and that improvements are a continuing effort. We're going to continue to evaluate data including this most recent report to continue to take actions to comply with the requirements set forth by the state and the county and to continue to improve canal conditions at the plant. And FPL has a consent decree in place with the county to do just that. Reporting live near Turkey Point, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.